Peace and good vibes. What's up, everybody? Uh, thanks for tuning in, and thank you all for subscribing. Um, and for those of you who have not subscribed yet, I ask that you please subscribe and also like the video. Um, and you can share it too if you'd like. So today I want to talk about the solar flares. Now I think I've done videos on this before, but now recently in the news, um, the solar flares are being brought back to the news again. So I guess this is kind of like a warning to the people, a warning to society of what is a possibility of what could go down. Now with solar flares, we're talking about sunspots and the sunspots on the sun that could cause massive blackouts. So I always refer to the Carentine event of the 1800s because that was, I think, one of the biggest solar storms ever recorded. So uh, with the Carentine event, um, they had these telegraph systems, you know, those old systems back in the day where um, that's how they were able to communicate with each other is through the um, telegraph system. So when the solar flares occurred, that went down um, and so they lost the ability to communicate with each other through um, that way. And so now I think within the present day, we have a lot more at stake than they did back in the 1800s because now we have um, television, we have electricity, we have um, our... So if a solar flare event could take place and it could happen, uh, we just need to prepare ourselves and we need to be ready. So a lot of people don't know about solar flares. They never heard of solar flares. Um, and if you're one of those people, that's okay because I'm here to help educate you as much as I can and as much as I know about it. Now, I'm not proclaiming to be this solar, solar flare expert, but... I know just a little bit about it now my mom she's the one who really um, tapped me into the information about solar flares because she was reading up on it and um, she found it to be interesting and you know how we can affect everyone here on earth um, and so she uh, hipped me to it and so um, I started reading a little bit about it as well and um, learned some things about it so this is important because if a solar flare does occur um, some of the things that we need and even with like everything that we need with natural disasters we're gonna need with solar flares because a solar flare would be considered a disaster um, depending upon how big um, and how long it will last and the thing about solar flares is it could last for um, a couple of weeks a couple of months to years now you can research the Carrington event of the 1800s and you can find out um, what they did what they went through how long it lasted and I believe it's called the Carrington event is because um, the person that first noticed it or first discovered it or first studied it um, his name was Carrington. I think believe that's his last name. I'm not sure about the first name, but um, it's named after him because he's the one who studied about it and um, brought it to the people's attention back in the day. So anyway, um, just to tell you a little bit about some of the things that you would need, definitely um, for us to survive this, we would need canned goods, water, candles, battery operated candles, batteries, matches, flashlights, make sure that you have, um, you know, um, firearms, um, and, uh, the essentials and the things like that, that you would need because, and the reason why I talk about firearms and why you would most likely need that is because when you have people that are without and they don't have any food, water, you know, et cetera, you know, they're going to be in a dire state of need for those of us that, you know, that, um, now I don't want to say that a solar flare is going to take people out, but it's a possibility. And for those of us that are still here and we're still left, you know, they're going to be people who may be without and they're going to be searching and lurking and looking around. And if they don't have it, they're going to take from you. So you have to protect yourself 
and your family within that respect and within that manner to make sure that you have the essentials and all of the things that you need so on and so forth so if you need to make a list um, double check that list make sure you have all of the things that you need and also with the um, those MREs or those meals that can last up to 25 to 30 30 years um, you might want to have that on hand as well if you don't already so I know sometimes that can be expensive but you know set aside for the things and the essentials that you need and the thing about a solar flare is is that it could come boom just like that in a matter of moments or a matter of minutes so um, it's good to kind of get those things along and along so the reason why I'm talking about solar flares now and I brought this up and this is information from the New York Post and we all know that the New York Post is a credible source so I'm gonna read a little bit of the article all right so I want to read a little bit of the article from the New York Post and you can go um, online and you can check this out for yourselves as well and there's also um, a video that explains um, about the solar flares. So, from the New York Post article, giant sunspot threatens Earth as solar flare may cause blackouts. And it starts off with the sun is expected to explode any day now. So, that's why I came on with this video because um, that was one line or one tagline that really stood out to me because it could explode any day now. So, now is the time to get ready and to prepare if you haven't already. Um, so solar flare researchers have their eye on a massive sunspot dubbed AR3055, which measures more than 6,100 miles wide. These re regions, which appear as dark moles on the surface of the sun, are concentrations of relatively cooler temperatures caused by magnetic flux. So in other words, they believe that these sunspots are caused by um, something that is magnetic I guess like I'm no scientist um, so I'm just trying to word it in layman's terms um, there is an incredible looking sunspot crossing the center of the solar disk and a new large dark core has just appeared on the limb astronomer Apollo Lasky said in a Monday statement published on spaceweather.com and that's also another um, website that you can check out spaceweather.com and that's um, S-P-A-C-E weather W-E-A-T-H-E-R dot com spaceweather one word dot com and it's almost directly facing the earth which poses a threat to our way of life sorry guys I'm fanning all of these flies and insects away. Um, researchers aren't sure whether AR3055 grew to its current size from an existing smaller spot or rapidly developed on its own over the weekend according to spaceweather.com which also shared moving images of the spot which boasts more or which boosts more than a dozen swirling cores of magnetic energy. So basically I'm reading this and I'm telling you guys this is because I don't want you guys to worry or fear um, but I want you guys to be well aware well informed and get all of the things that you need and also research what solar flares are and the damages that they can cause and what they can do like I said it could cause a blackout um, we could be without lights for days without electricity for months weeks so on and so forth but let's hope not but that tagline was what really prompted me to do this video is where it says the sun is expected to explode any day now you can see that and you can go to um, the New York Post and um, you can finish reading the article there but um, I just wanted you guys to um, just have yourselves prepared have yourselves ready and hopefully all goes well and I'll be able to talk to you next time oh and a lot of people they don't believe in this they feel as though um, oh, nothing's gonna happen and that's possible nothing may happen but it's already but it's always a, a good idea to prepare and to 
have and not need than to need and not have. Um, so, uh, on that note, just, I hope that you have all of the things that you need that are essential, your medications for those of you that are on medicines, um, and then you have to take medicine, um, and I don't know about baby formula, but I'm quite sure that there's some, um, um, if you don't have baby formula and you need baby formula and you're not breastfeeding, um, get with uh, the older generation, um, maybe in your neighborhood or in your family, um, and uh, maybe you come up with some old school ways to um, have the milk with that uh, to uh, for your babies. So you can even Google that or uh, go to your local. Um, health food store or somewhere, you know, if you don't have enough formula, running out of formula, I don't know, I'm not a mom, um, but, because, you know, every mom can't breastfeed, so that's understandable, but I don't want to get into that, but just know that you need to have all of the essentials that you need in order to survive, in order to wait this thing out, um, just in case something does happen, or something does go down, um, and also, um, I lost my train of thought because I heard that noise. Um, what did I want to say? Um, and also, um, just be prepared. Uh, oh, I remember. Because, remember, if the world can go through what we are experiencing right now with the pandemic, um, anything is possible. So, uh, just be prepare yourselves for a possible solar flare and please do your due diligence and research for yourself don't ever take my word for it don't ever take what i'm saying you know uh without researching it for yourself i'm just the messenger so don't shoot the messenger i'm just here i just wanted to get this information out for you guys so that you can look up more stuff for yourselves all right until next time peace and love